Okay, so I'm going to cut some uh, rings for making a, um, a solar filter for the front of my um, of my daub. Got a uh, trammel that I've used to cut various rings um, for building the scope. So I've got a new hole here that is going to give me about a half an inch of thickness on the outside of the ring. Um, so that's going to be, I'm going to cut a couple of those to um, be to slip over the, the front of the, the telescope and then so I'll have a couple of thicknesses of this and then there will be <clears throat> another one that is um, probably eight inches in inner diameter and then a, and then a third a fourth one that is also eight inches inner diameter to provide for some uh, for some clamping so there will be two of these for fixing onto the scope and then there will be a sandwich of two with an eight inch diameter hole for the center for um, allowing light in. And then, uh, yeah, that should um, provide ample support for the filter as well as providing a bit of um, relief so that it doesn't get scratched. I might actually put a third one on the front, but we'll see when, um, see when I have a stack up, whether or not I'm going to need to. Whenever I'm messing around with the setup, well, I try and unplug the, uh, the router. Okay, so that's gonna be the clear aperture. And so, solar film, that goes down over top. And this goes over the top of there, and so now we've got a, uh, that slips over the front of the telescope. So I think I need to increase the thickness here. I would like to put a uh, pin, I think, on either side into the uh, front ring of the telescope, just so it doesn't accidentally get blown off or some crazy shit like that. But yeah, that, uh, that seems to be about, uh, about the thing of it. Okay, yeah, that looks much better in terms of depth. That's, uh, what, three, six, an inch and an eighth. Um, and uh, I'll easily be able to, once these are all glued up, to um, drill some sort of a pin attachment mechanism so that it can pin into the um, front ring. Maybe, uh, well, I don't have to get too fancy, just a, just a dowel, just to keep it from flying off in the wind, if there is any.
Okay, so I want to make a holder for the edge of the solar film so that I can actually maybe even reuse it on a separate um, separate scope so it's got some some sort of stickiness to or some sort of rigidity to it so what I'm going to do is this is going to peel off easily because it's just masking tape put down the double sided tape around the periphery roll out the uh, solar film drop that on top and uh, as they say, Bob's your uncle. And there we have it. A roughly 8 inch aperture floor filter. Ta-da! And so there it is, installed. Now, I think if I had a couple of um, spring-loaded ball catches that I mounted on the inside there, that would be an awesome addition, and then it would just clip on there. But just a couple of um, pins in there will probably be sufficient as well. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so just a couple of uh, M5 cap screws will allow us to secure it from <clears throat> getting blown off. So yeah, yeah, I think that's that's a wrap on that.